Today, we're talking transistors. Hey, what's happening, guys? I've gotten some questions in the past about different types of transistors from, you know, bipolar junctions, JFETs, MOSFETs, unijunction. As to how they work and compare to each other and what some of their uses might be. So I thought we'd talk about that today. Let's start with the bipolar junction transistors that we all know and love, your BC547 2N2222. And we'll start with the NPN. Of course, for our BJTs, we have a base, a collector, and an emitter. And a small positive current at the base relative to the emitter allows a larger current to flow from the collector to the emitter. So it operates where VC is greater than VE. And they're used in switching and amplification. My little dyslexia there. All right, PNP channel, simply the opposite. A negative current at the base in regards to the emitter lets the current flow in the opposite way and it operates VE is greater than VC and it's also used in switching and amplifying applications are you with me so far All right, let's move on and talk about JFETs now the first JFET we'll talk about is an N channel and this is a FET we have gate drain and source now it is, oh I should have put these up here, I'm sorry. These are normally off. Okay. Um, our JFET, our in channel JFET is normally on. And a small negative voltage at its gate relative to the source will stop the drain source current and it operates as VD is greater than VS and again used in switching and amplifying applications now the P channel is also normally on but a small positive voltage at its gate relative to the source stops the current flow and it operates VS is greater than VD again used in switching and amplification applications alright let's move on to our MOSFETs we have depletion mode and enhancement mode N channel and P channel for both of them. So let's start with the depletion mode N channel. It is normally on, but a small negative voltage at its gate relative to the source will shut it off. And it operates VD is greater than VS. Now what's nice about this is it does not require a gate current. And again used in switching and amplification. Now the P channel also normally on. All right? And a positive voltage at its gate relative to the source turns it off. And it operates VD is greater than VS. It also does not require a gate current. So 
Your MOSFET depletion modes require no gate current. And that's where they're different than things like a, uh, a, a JFET. Simply a voltage operated device. Let's move on down to our enhancement mode. They are normally off. So our end channel, a small positive charge in its gate relative to the source permits the flow from drain to source. It operates voltage at the drain greater than voltage at the source. And again, no gate current is required. Our P channel is of course normally off. You can see the difference here. Your depletion mode MOSFETs are normally on. Your enhancement modes are normally off. Anyway, a small negative voltage at the gate relative to the source turns it on, operates VS greater than VD, and no gate current required. Again, switching and amplification applications. Finally, we get down to this weird child, the unijunction FET or the UJT. Now, normally, a very small current flows between B1 and B2. But a positive voltage at the emitter relative to either B1 or B2 increases the current flow. And it generally operates where V B2 is greater than V B1. It requires no gate current because it's a FET. And it is only a switch. No amplification. Whoa! That wasn't bad. I hit the camera. No amplification will occur there. So, I hope this helps you guys understand the types of transistors and how to use them in your projects. If you have any more questions, I'm always here. Well, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.